Hi folks, we were changing the oil in my wife's Toyota the other week and we needed a custom wrench. It was a 64 millimeter 14 side um, oil filter wrench and you can buy one for about 10 bucks from AutoZone. But the car was up, oil was drained, I wanted this wrench. It was the first time where I really went from part idea in my head to holding the part in my hand. I wanna say about five minutes, maybe it was seven, but seriously folks, super, super fast, so cool. Fusion 360 made this quick work of this. I went to, of course, new component as always, wrench, and we went to sketch, polygon, circumcise polygon. I clicked this plane and we sketch out and it was a 64 millimeter and 14 side and boom, you're done. I cheated when I made it and I um, just added a little bit of, I just added a little bit of diameter to it because I knew my plasma cuts a hair under and obviously the wrench needs to fit over it. The better thing to do probably would have been to model the solid actually just like this. I'll hit Q here and press pull that. So that's our nut. We'll, we'll rename this the nut. I love it, it's so cool. And now we'll do a new, new component, which we'll call the wrench. And on this one, we'll do the same thing. 65 millimeter maybe and 14 side and something like that. And then you can get an idea. Okay, so that's gonna to be too much slipping. You can see it right there. So cool, right? So we'll say 64.5 millimeter. So that's a lot better. So if you click that, what you could do is a parallel that way you actually see it kind of line up like that. Hit C for circle, put a circle around it, rectangle down here for your handle. That's um, centered, it, we can center it quickly by just saying 0.75 and clicking there to formulaically center it. Hit Q for press pull and 0.1 inch and how awesome is that? I went into CAM, new setup. I pick my part as this. Stock can be relative size box with no additional, that's fine, doesn't really matter here. My point is you click OK and then I have a template. We're gonna come back and do a video on templates soon, but right click, create from templates, JWS Plasma. All you gotta do is go in and pick your two contours Click post and change to change it to a plasma, the plasma post. If anybody wants this, shoot me an email. Um, I've got a plasma post for Torchmate that works with Fusion 360. And again, literally, we had G-code that quick. Here's some footage of it cutting on the plasma. Um, you can, uh, I, again, I was a little bit fortunate because I had the right size plate kind of right up there. We walked over, threw it on our flex arm bench, just hand bend it. And, you know, I'll be honest, we did have to put a set of vice grips on it to get enough torque to start it. But this was so cool. And, and to be honest, um, you know, we, we've all probably spent more time making tools than we should have. And that's what got me so excited about this. This is one of the ones that it wasn't BS. Literally, it was so cool how quickly I had this in my hand. It wasn't one of those, oh, I'll make it, and then it takes 27 minutes later or something like that. Not that that isn't fun. So something a little bit different, something a little bit quick. With that, folks, take care. See you next week.